Mr. Malumi, I will help you! <laughs> oh, God! Oh. <laughs> a color so! Please, there is no need to thank me. Uh, thank you! For saving your life, I have removed the arrow. Let me inspect the damage. No, no, it's fine. I was hit on the head, but that's all. Yes, you have received a very large boom. A boom? What? Did you say a boom? Yes, I know that such a large boom could be serious. You could have a concussion. What are you doing here? Have you been committed? Of course not. I may be many things, but I'm not the lunatic. No, I've come to see you, my old friend. Let me have a look at you. Ah, the picture of health. Not like last time I saw you, eh? That was a long time ago. I was under a great deal of stress. It is the job, my old friend. Better men than you have cracked under such pressure. I must tell you, my heart screamed when I heard you were consigned to this baboon factory. But apparently it has done you the world of good. I think I will sit down now. Let me help. No, it's, it's fine. Just a little shaky. Probably the shock and the surprise of seeing you here again today. Let it all out, my friend. I knew the reunion would be an emotional one. We are forced to put on this dear mask for the public. To be stoic, strong, invincible. We dare not cry. But now we are just two friends, sharing but one common bond, humanity. So let there be tears. Tears without shame. <laughs> Do you really believe what you are saying? That we are friends? Friends and more. Compatriots. Comrades. That is why I was so crushed when I heard you were reduced to a raving lunatic. <laughs> and what do you think drove me to my lunacy? Pressure, my friend. Pressure and a hormonal imbalance. You must feel no shame because you could not handle the rigors of the job of chief inspector. Some men are born to lead, my friend, and some are destined to fall. <laughs> and, and you? A leader? Well, oh, he's a leader, eh? Mm -hmm. Onwards and upwards, uh, to the top. It is my karma. Huh? My destiny. Ah. Who knows, a few more years on the force and I might run for public office. <laughs> you can count on my vote. You do not know how that touches my heart. This tells me something. Poor Dreyfus. Most men in your position would be bitter and vindictive. Yes, very. After all, I have taken over your former job and all the glory and prestige that goes with it. While you have been cast aside in disgrace, a hapless, dishonored, shattered man, I sit on a lofty pinnacle, basking in the adoration of my peers and the people of France. While you, a shadow of your former self, must forever bear the scars of your disgrace and your lunacy. But do you wish me ill? No. <laughs> to think that you would honor me with your vote. I am speechless. I promise I will do everything in my power to get you out of this place. Ah. Oh, close so. <laughs> Let me help. Ah. Ah. Oh, I think you should be going now. Yes, I do think I should be on my way. Something wrong? A filthy fly. Uh, don't move, the swine fly is on your nose. Oh! <laughs> I got the filthy beast, mon ami! Oh, <laughs> of course I will help you. Oh, sweet heaven, give me strength. I'm perfect. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> I'm afraid this is just not your day. Oh, but it is my day. After three long, terrible years, it is at last my day. And I will not permit anything to spoil it. I will walk into your car, eh? And, and I will kiss you goodbye, eh? Mwah, mwah. Yeah. And you will drive off in your new car, and that should rightfully be mine, eh? And I, I will have an interview with the sanity board, and they will set me free, eh? And then... Uh, and then... I will kill you, eh? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>